Celebrities have made Aspen, Colorado their playground for decades. While they don't outnumber the locals yet, their numbers increased throughout the pandemic. Mariah Carey, Leonardo DiCaprio, Dakota Johnson, Elton John, Katy Perry, and multiple Kardashians have been spotted in this mountain town of about 8,000. It's a playground for the ultra wealthy and mega famous and those who want to tap ski poles with them. Aspen's A-list mystique has helped propel its property prices to stratospheric heights. For example, a 10-bedroom, 18,000-square-foot home sold in September for an eye-popping $69 million. But a number of upscale ski resorts across the country offer Aspen's level of luxury at gentler prices and without the wild scenes, hangers-on, and paparazzi celebrity guests can attract. And some locals say the skiing at these resorts leave Aspen's mountains in the powder. Here are five ski resort alternatives to Aspen. Park City was settled in 1858 by soldiers searching for silver, and it's one of the few Utah cities not founded by Mormons. Since then, it was discovered by ski fanatics and nature lovers who turned Park City into a year-round destination. The Sundance Film Festival also draws a major celebrity contingent every January. Park City listings include this castle-like home spanning nearly 10,000 square feet with panoramic views, listed for $11.5 million. A huge selling point for Park City is how easy it is to reach. It's just a 30-minute drive from Salt Lake City's airport. Park City also has more of a primary home feel than Aspen, which is mainly a second home market. While visitors abound in Park City's picturesque downtown and ski destinations like upscale Deer Valley Resort, Full-time residents are the norm in areas like Snyderville Basin, about nine miles north of downtown. During the pandemic, prices doubled in some areas. The median Park City home price was $1.7 million as of August. Deer Valley Resort practically forms its own property market, with its own median home price climbing to almost $2.3 million. For trendy shopping, Aspen rules. By contrast, fashion in Big Sky might mean a new fly fishing shirt, which is exactly how locals like it. This Montana community still feels like the authentic American West. Just outside the center, resorts like the Spanish Peaks Mountain Club and Moonlight Basin boast listings up to $25 million. This four bedroom, 4.5 bathroom home at Spanish Peaks is listed with Big Sky Realty for $10.5 million. Big Sky's property market exploded during the pandemic, with home prices doubling over two years. More second homeowners started reverse commuting to their city jobs, and visitors discovered Big Sky's easy access from Bozeman's airport. The result has been higher prices and fewer homes for sale. Condos are the most common type of housing in Big Sky's walkable town center, which offers bars, restaurants, cultural venues, and a farmer's market. And like Montana's wild horses, the luxury segment in Big Sky just gallops on. Home prices have doubled since October 2019 in Ketchum, in Idaho's Sun Valley region. But the city is still a relative bargain compared to Aspen. Like Big Sky, Ketchum foregoes the glitz and glamour of Aspen in favor of pickup trucks and dirt bikes, which are both common sights on roads here. Ketchum is surrounded by agriculture and remote mountain ranges, giving it a character unique to Idaho. Median home listing prices in Ketchum peaked at nearly $2.2 million in March 2022, more than double the median home price in October 2019. By August 2022, however, median listing prices had softened to just under $1.1 million. The luxury market remains strong, however. Local listings include a five bedroom, 6.5 bathroom, more than 12,000 square foot mountain lodge on 4.6 acres for $16.9 million. Ketchum's city center includes a mix of single family houses, townhomes, and condos with an entry price of about $750,000 for a one bedroom condo and $1.5 million for a detached home. The neighborhood of West Ketchum is highly desirable for its walkability to both downtown and skiing. Nearly three quarters of the buyers in Stowe, Vermont are second home buyers from out of state. Skiing is a huge draw for them, but Stowe's a busy year-round destination with plenty to do in warmer months, including hiking and mountain biking. When they're not in Stowe, most buyers rent out their homes and there's a huge short-term rental market here too. 
Weak internet service had been a barrier for some buyers, but new satellite internet service has changed the game. The average selling price of a home in the second quarter of 2022 was $980,000, down from a little over a million during the same period last year. New York, Boston, and Montreal are huge feeder markets for Stowe. The condo market has been very strong, with some units here more than doubling in value throughout the pandemic. The price of land has doubled or even tripled over the last decade. Many ski enthusiasts say that ski access in Truckee Tahoe rivals the offerings in Aspen. In fact, the region is home to the largest cross-country ski area in North America, the Royal Gorge Resort in Soda Springs. Prices here are lower, however. Easy access to Truckee Tahoe also offers an edge over Aspen. Located near the California-Nevada border, the area is just 25 minutes by car from Reno's International Airport. In this eclectic region, you might see local ski bums hanging out at a bar next to techies who made their fortune selling their companies. Downtown Truckee also boasts lively nightlife and great food. Listings here include a 2,667 square foot mountain modern home for almost $3 million. Property values here doubled through the pandemic with average prices hovering around $1 million. Though in the luxury Martis Camp community, with its members-only ski facilities and golf courses, home prices soar to an average 10 to $12 million. Which of these Aspen alternatives would you most like to visit? Tell us in the comments below and be sure to hit subscribe.